asked, how are you with turns? Now, my thing is, I'm not up here to torture you guys, but I want to show you as much as I can. Moving around fast, it enables us to stay on the lava and stuff more. But I mean, if we got to go like way out here and do these like 10 degree turns over there, I'll lose it before I come back. You know, like, okay, where to go now? <laughs> but uh, the thing is, I don't want to torture you. We do have Aloha bags pretty much everywhere in the front, in the back, and everything, too. All I ask about those is don't wait too late. If you even feel anything coming on, treat it like a checking account. You wouldn't go to the bank and just throw money at it. You want to make sure you open up an account first, right? So I appreciate that. But you guys let me know anytime if you're not feeling comfortable. up over half of the island here. We also have many, many eruptions from this thing. Since 1832, this thing has gone off 39 times. Right over here is from 1984, this darker black lava. This is a fissure. See these big holes over here on the right? These are lava tubes. Caves created by the molten melted lava. Now here's what's kind of uh, unusual. You know, I was thinking one day, I've seen all kinds of different lava flows over here. I mean, it's primarily two different types, a pohoi hoi and an uh -uh flow. And um, I was noticing how the lava kind of remelts itself and continues to flow. So I, I I got like torch and welder and all that kind of stuff at home. So I decided to take some of the, a little chip of this lava and take my torch to it. I can remelt it. That's pretty cool. It turns in almost like a glass. So probably next time you guys see me, I'm probably going to be rich and everything because I'm going to have my lava furniture line going on. I'll get my sweetheart to start making lava jewelry and I know, just a matter of time, I'm going to be rich, you know. I'll probably have to have one of these to fly back and forth, you know, to my uh, mansion on the beach and everything like that. What happens to all the water that falls? What happens? All the water, uh, 300 inches of water, it seems like you see some lakes or something. Okay, what happened to all the waterfalls? The water that, the rainfall. Yeah. Like, you just don't see any water, it just goes through that lava. Yeah, mainly because we are just coming around, like you see how barren all this area here is. We're getting ready to head into the really, uh, the wetter side of the island. And then from here, we'll continue up like the, uh, the northeast shoreline, and that's all the windward side. What we did is we left from the, the leeward side over there, like where we took off from that old lava flow, that's from the 1859 flows. And um, it's just super dry. The average rainfall is like 8 to 14 inches of rainfall per year. 
super dry. And over here on this side, it's gonna be, it's rainforest. In fact, off on the left side over there, that's all rainforest. Straight ahead, active volcano, Kilauea. You know that Kilauea is one of the most active volcanoes right now on the planet. That one in Mount Etna in Sicily. Is the music too loud or anything? Everybody hear me? Okay. All right, good. What's that? Who are we listening to? Uh, these guys right here. This is called Ka Huilo Bai. I forget the name of this um, this group. I'm actually creating a, a playlist. You know, sometimes you, I go through there and I put different music in there and then it's like, ah, oh, this didn't work. So I'm, take it out. It's like, oh. Now guys, I'm switching into a different frequency. It's going to get pretty busy. We're getting into the active volcanic zone. We're on the Volcano National Park. We can cross an over Highway 11. You'll see uh, Kilauea Volcanic Caldera. Big, massive caldera. Some has got like three different craters inside of there. See where all the smoke's coming out? That's called Hale Maho Maho. And the first time since I've been here for almost 23 years, the crater where the smoke's coming out was spilling up and it actually spilled out into the secondary crater. It's kind of like the one and only drive-in volcano on the planet. There is a road all the way around it. It's 10.6 miles. I'm looking for some lava inside of that. You can see some of the red lines starting to break up a little bit. Can you see that in there? Believe it or not. On the left. Oh, nice. Look at that now. Can you see it? I'll spin around and put it on the right here in just a second. Believe it or not, they used to offer human sacrifice into this until the early 1800s. This 
just on the right over here, the smoke plume. Look at that smoke plume going out over the barren areas. We're talking about vegetation and everything. You notice there's no vegetation here. Now look at Mauna Loa. Mauna Loa is a beautiful, fantastic, active volcano. This thing is the tenth most dangerous active volcano on the planet in the world. Now you can see Mauna Kea over there too. I didn't talk too much about Mauna Kea because we're just too close to it. It's so big and massive you can't see it. Now you can. Now you guys see that? Follow that smoke plume down. You see it right into Hale Ma'omao. The road it goes all the way around. They have to close this off sometimes. Whenever the uh, sulfur content becomes over 50 parts per million, they shut it down. The reason for that is sulfur dioxide has a um, tendency to inflame if you have any respiratory problems. This will really get it cranked up. And you can see there's also a village right across the street from 